aboard a frightening situation for students aboard a bus in Springfield yesterday afternoon when a rock was allegedly thrown at the bus and shattered a window. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is live in studio after getting answers from police and school officials. And Wesley, this may have not been the first time. Yeah, Chris and Abby, it's not. Springfield Police investigated a similar incident back in September. Now, take a look. This is from yesterday's case. Western Mass News has obtained these photos of the school bus with the broken window, and we've learned the bus is associated with the Long Meadow School District. Now we're hearing from the superintendent of the Long Meadow Public Schools, Marty O'Shea. He tells us in a statement in part, quote, yesterday we received a report that a bus that serves students enrolled in Long Meadow Public Schools through the METCO program had been struck by a rock in the area of Allen and Cooley Streets in Springfield. This is the second time this has occurred. He goes on to say, though the rock did not enter the bus yesterday and though no student was hurt, this is a very troubling situation as students safety is our highest priority. He goes on then to say we are working collaboratively with our transportation provider, the Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative to have safety measures in place before this afternoon minimally. This will include rerouting the bus away from the area where it was struck. Now the incident back in September left a boy injured. Springfield police tell us that student's parents filed a police report and believed that the rock was thrown by a group of kids also at the intersection of Allen and Cooley streets. But in that case, detectives ruled a work truck near the bus hit a piece of pavement and rock was launched into the bus. Western Mass News reached out to Springfield Police's public information officer Ryan Walsh today, who says, quote, yesterday there was a 911 call that said rocks were thrown at a bus. It is unclear if this is the same bus or the circumstances. The bus driver and or the company has yet to make a report. Local residents are also chiming in tonight. They tell Western Mass News more needs to be done to secure the area. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that people aren't respectful of rules or anything today. They're, the integrity is not there. And when it comes to children, there, there has to be a lot more safety involved. Safety indeed. Kathy adds there should be more police patrols in areas like this. We did reach out to the bus company, the Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative, Chris and Abby, for comment, but did not hear back. Reporting live in studio, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.